Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Tutorial, Reading Emails with Python and the Gmail API, Part 1. In this tutorial, we will learn how to read emails from a Gmail account using Python and the Gmail API. This is a multi-part tutorial, and in this first part, we will cover the following. 1. Setting up a Google Cloud project and enabling the Gmail API. 2. Installing the required libraries. 3. Authenticating with the API. 4. Fetching and displaying email messages. Step 1. Setting up Google Cloud project. 1.1. Create a Google Cloud project. 1. Go to the Google Cloud console https colon slash slash console dot cloud dot google dot com to click on the drop down on the top left and select new project three give your project a name and click create one point two enable the gmail api one in your project dashboard click on apis and services library to search for gmail api and click on it three click the enable button 1.3 Create Credentials 1. After enabling the API, click on Create Credentials. 2. Select Gmail API as the API you want to use. 3. Under what data will you be accessing? Select Application Data or User Data depending on your needs. 4. For Application Type, select Desktop App. 5. Click Create. 6. Download the JSON file containing your credentials by clicking on the download icon next to your newly created credentials. Step 2. Install required libraries. You will need the Google Auth, Google Auth OAuthLib, and Google API Python client libraries. You can install them using pip. Step 3. Authenticating with the API. We will use the credentials downloaded earlier to authenticate. Create a file named gmail underscore read.py and add the following code. Explanation of the code. Scopes, this specifies the level of access your application needs. In this case, we use gmail.read only to read emails. Authenticate underscore gmail underscore API, this function handles the authentication process. It checks for existing credentials and refreshes them if necessary. If no valid credentials are found, it prompts the user to log in and saves the credentials for future use. Main, this is the entry point of the script. It authenticates the user and builds a service instance of the Gmail API. Make sure to replace path slash to slash your slash credentials dot json with the actual path to the json file you downloaded earlier. Step 4. Fetching and displaying email messages. Now that we have authenticated, we can fetch and display the email messages. Update the main function in gmail underscore read.py. Explanation of the code. Service.users.messages.list. This call retrieves a list of messages from the user's inbox. Max results equals 10. This limits the number of messages retrieved to 10 service.users.messages.get this fetches the full content of each message and we print a snippet of the email running the code one save your changes to gmail underscore read.py to run the script the first time you run it a browser window will open prompting you to log in to your google account and authorize the application after authorization the script will display snippets of the most recent emails from your inbox. Conclusion In this part of the tutorial, we covered the setup of the Google Cloud project, authentication, and fetching email snippets using the Gmail API. In the next part, we will further explore how to filter emails and process message content. Feel free to ask if you have any questions or need further assistance.